name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to do an unboxing video on the game Marvel Villainous. I keep almost saying Disney Villainous. Uh, Mischief and Malice. This is the expansion to the Marvel Villainous Infinite Power, which I have over here. And I also did an unboxing video in January on this. This is as of now when we release this, as of, as of now when I'm filming this, it is still January, but um, when this is out, it's March. We're getting into spring, folks. We're getting into spring. Uh, now this one is, uh, it is an expansion, but just like traditional Disney villainous, uh, it is a standalone game as well. It adds Madame Mask, Loki, and Modoc. Um, I actually got to demo this version of the game in uh, Gen Con last year. I have a pin on my lanyard over here. And uh, this is the Target Edition. I just want to point that out. That's why it has this sleeve. So if you order this from like Amazon or, you know, Miniature Market or Cool Stuff or whatever, chances are this will not, this sleeve will not come on it because it is a Target Edition. Um, It'll just have the plain box, which you will see what that looks like when we start unboxing it. it. Um, and, of course, this is by Ravensburger. Um, so, that's enough chit-chat. Let's crack this nut open, see what's inside. Okay, so we got our box here. Um, like I said, this is a sleeve. Um, so, this blue with this symbol on it will not be on it here if you got it from anywhere else other than Target. And uh, I can get this sleeve off done it before. It's just uh, a little difficult. Aha! Ah, there we go. So this is what the game will look like if you don't get it from Target. Um, and uh, I want to point this out. Jordan actually got Despicable Plots last year from Target, and it got stuck. Um, yeah, and she che checked it out. All of the copies got stuck, so I'm glad I managed to get it off of this one. We're going to flip it in the back. It shows you all the components that's going to come, come with. Like I said, we've got Madam Mask, we've got Loki, we've got MODOK, which stands for Mechanical Organism Designed Only for Killing. Cut through the seals. Seagulls say mine. Seals say off. Off, 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 off. The Finding Nemo jokes will never die out. And we got the rules and instructions on how to play this, because this is a standalone game, so it's got everything you need to play it. And I'm going to start with the figures. So, this is Loki. Um, yeah, I don't know what's the difference, because I've never actually played as Loki. I only played as uh, MODOK. So, if you guys actually ever get uh, a non-target edition, please uh, show me the difference between the figures. Um, I'd love to see. Uh, you can do that uh, by sending me a message on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or Games Corner. Um, yeah, just share it on my, my social media accounts. Uh, if not, I think I can see some pictures on the comments section, so you could try that. But, yeah, social media would be better. And this is MODOK. Mechanical organism designed only for killing. And uh, this one's Madame Mask. I don't know. I feel like Madame Mask is probably the coolest one in the this set. I think she has the coolest figure because you got that mask, and then you got like these these guns, and you got like the utility belt. You know, the Batman utility belt, except it's the Madame Mask utility belt. 
Uh, and of course, we're going to start with the uh, boards. There we go. Got it. I got it. I got it, folks. We're good. We're good. Jordan, no need to get up. Okay. So we got Loki right here. And um, it's got uh, a quote from the comic, Fire and Chaos are coming, and I am the Lord of Chaos. So we got Odin's throne, uh, the Bifrost, uh, Jodenheim. It's spelled Jodenheim, but it's pronounced Jodenheim. And the Sanctum Sanctorum. I have been falling for 30 minutes. We got Madame Mask. There's nothing sadder than a broken superhero. And by sadder, I mean more delightful. We got Manhattan, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Nefaria Castle and Magi Casino Ship. I think that's how you pronounce that. And then we got Modoc. Add to my to-do list. Violently eliminate all hostile co-workers and resort and restore self to Controlling power at aim. Hostile co co-workers. We got the AIM laboratory, the AIM island, AIM submarine, and AIM warehouse. And uh, activate the co he activates the cosmic cube. What was Loki's goal? I should say what their goals are. Um, gain 10 mischief, which I'm assuming is the power, and then Madame Mask is vanquish eight heroes to settle her vendetta. And we're going to put Loki back up the front. So, got a little tracker thing here. I can't remember which one that's for. Oh, that's for Madame Mask's Vendetta. You just place it like here. I think I'll do that. Place it right here, and then you just slide it over. This is for Modoc. Shows his loyal the loyalty of the AIM people. We got our individual uh, character guides and our reference cards, double sided. Um, yeah, we the reason why I didn't wear a special themed shirt is just because. Um, on the day that I'm filming this, got back from work, and that's about all I, I'm willing to share to the public. Uh, some of it's a little more personal, so I'm just going to keep that kind of hush-hush. So I'm going to remove this. And we're going to zoom because it's card time. OK. so. We got Agent 13, Sharon Carter, right here. We got Deathlock. We got Life Model Decoy, Maria Hill. Melinda May. Mockingbird. I'm sorry, Melinda May has kind of been, uh, I think she's like, she's definitely a favorite character. Uh, with me and Jordan, I'm a big fan of the character, um, and I do hope they bring her back in the MCU, but only if Ming-Na Wen is playing Melinda May. I do not want to see anybody else play that role right now. we got Nick Fury, Peggy Carter, 
um, Phil Coulson, uh, but we all know his name, his real name is Agent. Uh, his name is Agent. This is Quake, a.k.a. Uh, Daisy Johnson. Johnson. That's it. Daisy Johnson. Infiltrated. Knock, knock. Incoming! And under surveillance. Uh, looks like there are some special tokens in here. Uh, I don't know what they're for. Probably one of the characters. Keep that in there. And we're going to... Hmm. Well, I'll start from here and work my way up. So Madam Mask's deck will be first. Okay, so we got Hawkeye and Hawkeye and Black Widow. Uh, both uh, Clint Barton and Kate Bishop go by the name Hawkeye, and no, it's not because like Clint died and uh, Kate uh, took it to honor him. They there are moments in the comics where both of them go by the name Hawkeye. So we got Jasper Sitwell. Tony Stark, Moon Knight, sweet, failure, hard to trust, a mask, prisoner of shield, no one gets out alive, Nefaria family, I do love the artwork on these, the Nefaria family soldiers, Nefaria family leader, Count Nefaria, The Hood, The Syndicate, Dreadnoughts, okay. Tool of the Trade, D Decoy, not DK, Decoy. Mm -hmm. Line of Sight, yep. Setting a Trap, plan, no the hunt, no mercy, payday, call me Big M. All right, we're going to put that one over here, the Madam Mask cards, and hopefully I'll get these sleeved like I did. I got my uh, villain, Disney villainous set. Oh, that, that's Loki. Uh, the next one we're doing is Modoc. Yeah, because we did Madam Mask, and we're going up. Modoc is next. So we got Iron Man. We had Madam Mask going up against Tony Stark. Now we have Modoc going up against Iron Man. I guess Tony just pisses everybody off. He just gets everybody angry at him. We got Captain America. She-Hulk, Hulk, Traitor, oh, that's an effect card, Powerless, Aim Revolt. I don't know why these events are like this, uh, but it's interesting, and at least it, you can tell them apart from the Disney villainous, so it's not like 100% the same. We've got the Aim Soldiers, Aim Scientists, Aim Scientists Supreme, the leader, Super Adaptoid, the Cosmic Cube, Bionic Blast, Aim Attack, Hail Modoc. And I did play as Modoc at Gen Con, so I kind of know how he works a bit. It's, it's a little difficult to get him going. Plus, it was my first time. I'm pretty sure if I played him a second, played as him a second time, I'll be doing really good. I'd be doing pretty good. I don't know about sleeving these cards because you have to do a community deck, which um, 
I don't know how that will work fitting in the box. So if, if you guys have sleeved your cards, uh, for specifically for like the smaller boxes for Marvel, um, or even just the, the main game, um, let me know if they fit with the sleeves. Um, so I can uh, make a... So I can make a, a well thought out decision. So we got Odin, Thor, Sith, Jane, Heimdall, Payment Due. I did what, when? Not dead, just resting. Vanished and Ragnarok. And we have Thor, brother of Loki. He's an ally. Thor is an ally, but he's also an enemy. Hmm, that's interesting. Never had that in a villainous before. Uh, I believe? Oh, man, I don't know who this is. I'm very foggy on my comic book lore right now. Will it? Leah, Loki's BFF, Frost Giants, Kid Loki. Uh, if you guys have seen uh, the Disney Plus series last year, uh, Loki, this is a variant of Loki. King Loki, Viking Loki, Sorcerer Supreme Loki. Lady Loki, the Destroyer, Scepter of Asgard, just trust me, games within games, who's the tricky one, power of a god, the most brilliant jest, the ten realms. Um, so, I will do some research on Lorelei. Oh, I think she's um, the Enchantress. Never mind. I won't need to do that much research on it. Put this right here. Put this right here. This will go here. Then we'll zoom out. I will put the lid back on, and because this is the Target Edition, I will slip the sleeve back in, and I think it's easier to get it in than take it out. And there we go, Marvel Villainous Mischief and Malice. Well, there you go. There's everything inside the Marvel Villainous Mischief and Malice. Again, um, if anybody has gotten the uh, standard retail edition, uh, let me know what the difference is in the comments below. I'd love to hear that so I can know what, what's the difference because I have no intention of getting a regular uh, retail version to um, compare. I just... I'm okay with the one. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified for videos just like these. And if you enjoy the channel as a whole, consider becoming a Patreon supporter on our Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And uh, be on the lookout for our upcoming for our upcoming how to play video, which I don't know if we if we've done a poll or not because this is March and this is released, but. We're getting done with our January poll right now um, where we are. So I don't know what's going to be in March. Um, I will try to put Marvel Villainous on the list. But, uh, and by that I mean I'll get started on a script, move it along, so that way Marvel Villainous can be an option. So hopefully we can know, so hopefully I can have a how to play video on the, um, the infinite power version, not this version. Um, but I will be more than happy to answer any questions you have about 
Mischief and Malice because I have played it. I do know the, the special characters and all that stuff. So if you have any questions about this one in particular, please leave them in the comments below and be on the lookout for our upcoming How to Play videos for this year. But until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.